Welcome to the Nodix MS video tutorial series, starting with this introductory video. Before we get any further, I have a few disclaimers. Please have annotations turned on for every video you will watch in this tutorial series. Nodix MS is in active development and things change a lot and annotations are a fast way to alert you if something has changed from this tutorial video series in the newer versions. I actually used a few different versions of NetXMS, so if something is not working or missing in your NetXMS install, please update to a newer version. Let's start with an overview of NetXMS. NetXMS is an enterprise-grade network management and monitoring software. It's free and open sourced. It's extremely powerful and extremely versatile. The server actually runs on Linux, Windows, Solaris and really anything since it's an open source project and you can compile it for any platform you would like. For the client, it's a Java client which works on Linux, Windows, Solaris, Mac, but again you can compile it for anything else that supports Java. And there is also a web client and an Android app. As for the server side, NetXMS supports a broad range of databases to choose from, meaning you can adapt it to any environment you would like to run it in. For the client, you actually have a completely unified web client and dedicated client. In this video series I will be working with the dedicated client, which is a Java executable, but all you see is actually exactly the same when using the web client giving you a very nice unified experience whether you are working on a station with the executable client or using the web interface. There is also a separate Android app which is tailored for devices with smaller screens. NetXMS has a lot of features that I will not go into here since we will be covering them in further videos, but one thing I would like to mention right away is that NetXMS is completely topology aware, which gives it unique advantages over certain other NMS softwares out there. This topology awareness is then later used in a lot of features within NetXMS, like fully dynamic layer 2 and layer 3 maps and IP and make search within your whole infrastructure, which we will cover in further videos. So again, welcome to the tutorial series and let's get started.